Hi everyone, my name is Laura Gautier. I'm an artist and art educator working in New York City. In my artistic practice, I make illustrations about mythology and folklore. I also create concept art for television and film. Today we're going to be doing an illustration project together based on a piece from the Hispanic Society's collection. The Hispanic Society has a large collection of prints. You can learn more about them by going to their website at hispanicsociety.org. For this art project, you'll need watercolor paper or any heavier paper you have, a pencil, black pens. Make sure to use a non-water soluble pen such as a permanent marker or ballpoint pen. This is to ensure that when you paint on top of your pen lines, your drawings won't smudge. Black watercolor and a brush, a cup of water and a paper towel. And if you don't have watercolors and a brush, you can also use a washable marker and a cotton swab. This is a print by the artist Francisco Goya, a Spanish artist who lived from 1746 to 1828. This artwork, titled Hasta su Abuelo, is part of a series of prints called Los Caprichos. So we have a special guest with us today. Hi, my name is Audrey Zhang. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Queens, New York. Okay, so to start out, why don't you tell me a few things that you notice about this piece? Um, well, I noticed that it's black and white and that there are more concentrated areas of black and then there are also white areas and the texture looks like a print. So you are actually 100% correct in saying that it looks like a print because it is in fact a print. It's from a series of prints called Los Caprichos. Um, there's 80 different images within this collection and it's, uh, it's a unique type of printmaking called aqua tint. Aqua tint is a type of etching and it produces areas of tone and so it's it is kind of special and different from other types of etching because the images end up looking a little bit like watercolor paintings. When I look at this piece I see about four distinct tones within it. There's um, the lightest areas which are the highlights, there's dark areas the darkest areas, which are shadows. There's a mid-tone that exists in his um, his face and his clothing. And then, like you said, in the background, there's this separate tone that has um, kind of a almost staticky look to it. Yeah. Um, it seems like he's studying something. Maybe he's looking at his ancestors because there are other donkeys on the page. And I think it's interesting how he's dressed like a human. And yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. Um, he is, in fact, looking at his family tree. Um, the, uh, the title of this piece is um, Hasta su abuelo, which means, and so was his grandfather. So essentially it's saying um, he's, you know, he's looking at his tree and he's a donkey, as was his grandfather before him. <laughs> so Goya created Los Caprichos as, as a means of poking fun at the aristocracy at the time. So even though it's a bit unfair to donkeys, donkeys are often symbolically seen as an animal that is kind of silly, kind of stubborn. So in Goya's use of a donkey in this image is um, making a bit of fun at aristocrats and their preoccupation with their family tree. And when it's in the big spectrum of things um, that you know your bloodline and your history of your family's wealth is not the most important thing. Um, there's a lot of other things that happen in the world that are a lot more significant and of a lot more importance than that. For our project today, we will be creating an illustration about how an animal might spend its time at home if it had human characteristics. Take a minute to consider what sort of activities an animal might get up to in the privacy of its own home. You can think about behaviors that certain animals are known for and then exaggerate them. For example, parrots are known for singing and talking, so maybe you would create an illustration of a parrot singing karaoke in the mirror. To begin, draw a light pencil sketch of your animal on watercolor paper. It's important to keep your pencil marks light so that you can erase them easily.
Once you've lightly mapped out your composition, it's time to use your black pen to go over your pencil lines. Take your time and do this carefully. When you finish outlining, you can use an eraser to erase any extra pencil lines that might be visible. Now it's time to start with your watercolor. The first step of using watercolor paint is to drop a little water into your paint to wake it up. I used watercolor from a tube, but even if your set looks a little different from mine, this step remains the same. I'm going to start out by creating some light washes of gray to fill up large areas of my paper. Once I've done this, I can build up my tones to create areas of shadow. Take care to consider your background tone. Try not to leave your background white. Think about how Goya added a separate gray tone in his background to help his composition really pop. Once I've laid down my large areas of tone, I can go in with a smaller brush to add more details. It's okay if you don't have a different size brush. Instead, just make sure to use only the very tip of your brush so that you can create finer marks. I try to keep my paper wet as I work. This way, when I add details with my smaller brush, it's easier to blend. Now that I've let my paint dry for a little while, I'm going to go back into my illustration and add some more details with my pen. So here's my finished illustration. I pictured my cat character as being very pampered and used to a life of luxury. She's carefree and spends her days lounging around her elegant home. Now Audrey is going to share with us some of her thoughts and ideas about her own drawing. For my painting, I used a brush and some ink to draw a dog in quarantine. Goya created an aristocratic donkey in his aquatint print to depict the state of affairs during his times so I decided to reflect upon our current situation during the 2020 pandemic with my painting. The dog in my piece looks out of his window and thinks of the days when he and his family could play catch outside in the open air. He wants to run free again, but he also understands the importance of staying inside until everything has returned to normal. On the technical side of things, I began by laying in the middle tones first. then. I created a light wash with my brush on areas where I knew would be illuminated, such as the dog's face and the right wall. After I had filled in most of the blank space, I painted the dog's jacket with the most ink to create contrast in the picture and to reference Goya's print. I added in the finer details last. I had a lot 
lot of fun creating this piece. Let's take a look at some artwork made by our friends around the world. Thanks everyone for making artwork with us today. If you'd like to share what you made, you can tag Hispanic Society and Animals Having Fun at Home. We can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>